Um, let me give you a, a brief introduction about Lakshmi. Um, so Lakshmi Pinani is the elder daughter of Sh uh, uh, of Shirangi Venkat Appaji and Supriya Mataji. She has a younger sister, Sri Leela. From her early days as a small child, Lakshmi has been attracted to the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, and she sings very beautifully. Born into a Krishna conscious family, both her grandfather Sh Sirangi Anathar Anathara and Purushottama Das Tandon are in deep Krishna consciousness. Especially grandfather Purushottam Das Tandon is a follower of ISKCON for the past 35 years and has accepted Srila Prabhupada as his spiritual master. Lakshmi as a child liked Lil Krishna videos very much. Lakshmi, as a, uh, Lakshmi participated in Ratayatra festivals and the Janmashtami festivals in Iskan Hyderabad, India, Seattle, Washington, and Houston, Texas temples. She is the former student of the Sunday school in Houston, Texas temple of past three years and actively participated in Sunday school, in Sunday school cultural activities and graduation ceremonies. It was her great fortune that Lakshmi for that Lakshmi performed Bharatnatyam dance for a song Kalinga Tandavam, Tandavam, Tandavam uh, in the Houston Temple this year. She gradually increased her chanting rounds, starting from one round to sixteen rounds, and does sixteen rounds every day, and reads Srimad Bhagavatam every day. So today uh, we are very fortunate to have um, Lakshmi um, uh, on the Sunday Kids presentation call. Lakshmi is going to present on the topic of uh, of Krishna's great soldier, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Now I hand over the call to Lakshmi. Lakshmi, are you there on the call? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, thank you all for coming and joining today. So today I'll be talking about Krishna's Great Soldier, also known as His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. So before starting, uh, I would like to do the prayers. Om Agnana Timiran Dasya Jnanan Jaya Shalakaya Chatur Minitam Yena Tasma Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Maho Vishnam Shri Shata Am Yena Putale Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Tata Swada Padintata Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bando Jagatpare Gopesha Gopi Ka Kanta Radha Kanta Namostuse Tapta Kansha Gauranji, Adade Vrinda Vaishwari, Vishavane Sutta Devi, Paramashi Hari Pie, Vancha Kalpa Darovyasya, Kripa Sando Paivacha, Patitana Pavanevyo, Vaishnavevyo Namona Maha. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, my name is Lakshmi Tranayani. Please accept my humble obeisances, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Uh, before starting my first presentation in this Bhakti Sangha Japa Kids group, I want to beg for your mercy from all Vaishnavas so I can speak appropriate to the chosen topic and enlighten all of you. Thank you very much once again for the opportunity. Now I will start with my presentation. So to begin with, I have decided to do the Shri Guru Vashtakam. Samsara Dava Nalali Daloka 
Hi Krishna. Vinay Mataji. Lakshmi, are you there on the call? got disconnected. Vinay Mataji, are you there back on the call? Hare Krishna. Yeah, Lakshmi, we couldn't can hear Can everyone you. hear me? Uh, we, now we can hear you, Lakshmi. Okay, okay. So we will start from the birth and childhood of Srila Prabhupada. Okay, Lakshmi. Very good. The next day after Janmashtami on September 1st, 1896 in Dolly Jan, a suburb of North Calcutta on 151 Harrison Road, a male child was born on Nando 12th day to Gaur Mohandi and Rajani. Being born on this auspicious day, his uncle named him Nandula. His parents named him Abhay Charan, which means one who was fearless having taken shelter at Lord Krishna's lotus feet. He was a dearly brother to his sister Bhavatarini, which who he fondly played with. 
Being a cloth merchant was just the material business for Rabbi's father. His actual business was to perform puja on a daily basis and reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitam Bruta, and Bhagavad Gita. He was a pure Vaishnava who did not touch meat, fish, egg, coffee, and tea throughout his lifetime. An astrologer depicted about Abai's horoscope, which his family was greatly astonished. The astrologer predicted that when Abai is at the age of 70, he will cross the ocean and open 108 temples. Birth and Childhood As a child, Abai would often go to Radha Govind Temple, which was 150 years old at his time. He was a very stubborn and naughty in his childhood. Due to that, he got several nicknames, namely Moti, Nandulal, Nandu, Kocha, and Kachori Mukhi. His, um, Abai's play toys were simple yet interesting, and he had a unique collection of toys, such as two guns, a wind-up car, and a toy cow. Abai had a strong will to conduct his very own Radhi Yatra festivals, which soon became reality when he conducted his first Radhi Yatra festival, which was handmade by him and was similar to the ones in Puri. College Marriage and Gandhi's Movement In 1916, Srila Prabhupada joined as a student of philosophy at Scottish Churches College. In his first year, he learned English, Sanskrit, second year, Sanskrit philosophy, third year, philosophy and economics. Abai became a member of the English Society and would recite Keats, Shili, and other poems to his classmates. As a member of the Sanskrit Society, he recited the Gita, and his classmates remember clearly how well Abai recited the 11th chapter describing Krishna. He also played soccer and took part in theoreticals. In 1918, Gaur Mohan chose Radha Rani Dutt, who was the daughter of Subar Manik family, to become his daughter-in-law. Radha Rani was 11 years old when she got married to Abai. In 1921, Abai was appointed as assistant manager for Ghost Laboratory and got inspired by the Gandhi's movement and started wearing khadi. Meeting his spiritual master and visiting Vrindavan for the first time. In 1922, Abai was blessed to meet his spiritual master, who was Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, and got instruction to spread the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Abai asked very skeptically who will listen when the whole country is dependent. Srila Prabhupada said we have to gain independence from British rule. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati said Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message is not for one particular country, causing mischief to another, but it benefits the entire universe. Bhakti Vinod Thakur was father of 10 children, amongst whom Srila Bhakti Vedanta Saraswati was one. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta got initiation from Gaur Kishore Das Babaji at the age of 26. In 1925, Abhay visited Vrindavan Dam for the first time and he is more from the master Srila Prabhupada Saraswati, Bhakti, sorry, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Voyage to America On August 13, 1965, Calcutta to New York, the solar passenger cabin of Jaladuta, a sea messenger, was occupied by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. At the age of 69, by a complimentary ticket provided by Sumati Muraji Desi, Jaladuta's captain was Arun Pandi. Before traveling to the U.S., Srila Prabhupada went to his spiritual master, Samadhi, to pray and ask for his blessings. Srila Prabhupada was accompanied by sets of Srimad Bhagavatam first canto, his personal baggage of a small suitcase, an umbrella, and a supply of cereal, just in case there was no suitable food available. Prabhupada also left India, which is around $7 or about 40 rupees. When he was traveling, he observed seasickness, pain, dizziness, headache, no appetite, vomiting, and suffered two heart attacks, but survived because of Lord Krishna's mercy. After journeying 35 days on sea, traveling from Calcutta on the Jaladutta, Srila Prabhupada finally reached Boston's Commonwealth here at 5.30 a.m. on September 17, 1965. In Boston, he stayed a few months in Gopal and Sari Agawal's home, then later moved to New York's Lower East Side. America Men, women, kids, teens, families from all different backgrounds came forward and accepted Krishna and his message. In just about 11 years of traveling around the globe, 
Prabhupada was able to set up new centers over 108 temples, rural communities, and educational institutions around the world with the help of his new devotees. With their help, Prabhupada was able to establish what would become the world's largest vegetarian food relief program. Throughout his time traveling around the world, Prabhupada visited India several times and opened many dozens of temples, and importantly, several in Mayapur and Vrindavan Dham. A very important change that took place in America when he was able was he was able to change one of the most spoiled groups of people in that time, also known as the hippie movement. Hippies are people who have every material desire fulfilled, tons of money, and were highly intoxicated. Krishna Krida. According to Srila Prabhupada, modern day schools, colleges, universities are like slaughterhouses producing nothing but material knowledge. Mm-hmm. Prabhupada Gurukulas to train children as good human beings. Prabhupada had begun a large Gurukula, or also known as the Krishna Conscious Primary School in Dallas, Texas. But due to Texas government restrictions, it was moved, it was moved to Vrindavan Dham, India in 1976. He encouraged children to play with Krishna toys in his uh, paraphernalia. By this kids, uh, this kids will be more attached to Krishna from a young start. As per Chanakya Pandit says, what is the use of begetting children like cats and dogs? They must be learned and follow Bhakti Maharaj. Prabhupada says we should create children like Prahalads. Accomplishments of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is going from east to west, from north to south, from one nation to another, to the snowlands, to the tropics, to the cities, to the jungles, mixing with white people, black people, and orientals at an almost constant pace for, constant pace for years. He was no Hindu village guru, suddenly astonished to see hundreds of automobiles racing on the highway or to see a factory smokes or skyscrapers or the blind rat race of the meat eaters. There was no question of cultural shock for Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada constructed over 108 temples around the world and he toured 14 times around the globe and visited all six continents and went to many countries such as North America, South America, Canada, Mexico, France, Sweden, New Zealand, Venezuela, Australia, China, Malaysia, South Africa. One of Prabhupada's biggest accomplishments is he has written over 70 different books related to Krishna consciousness, which he has written in several different languages too, namely Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita and many more famous books. Hare Krishna, hope you got closer to Krishna's greatest soldier. Thank you again for listening and giving me this opportunity. Um, thank you so much, Lakshmi, for the beautiful presentation. It was really enlightening. Uh, anybody have any questions? Thank you. Oh. Is there anyone who has questions for Lakshmi? Hare Krishna, Lakshmi. This is Ashutosh. Um, Hare Krishna, Ashutosh. I just have a question. That what inspired you to um uh do this topic? Um. So as um Krishna said before, my my mom's dad is a big fan of Prabhupada, and he has um great attachment to him. So I wanted to continue on his legacy and I wanted to start my first presentation by doing it on Prabhupada. Uh, okay. Um thank you for the beautiful pre- presentation and how many points you gave. I really good. Thank you. Hi Krishna Lakshmi, beautiful, beautiful, Hi Krishna. beautiful presentation. Like you covered so many points in this. 
and it went of such a systematic flow from uh, Srila Prabhupada's birth and his travel to America. Uh, Lakshmi, in the introduction, I heard that uh, you are chanting your 16 rounds. It is yes, Mataji. It is such. How old are you, Lakshmi? I am 13. Awesome. Hari bol. <laughs> Thank you, Mataji. Lakshmi, to just encourage all the kids in the call, could you please uh, like uh, explain that how do you chant your rounds, or what time do you do, or what? What was their inspiration behind you to dedicatedly do your rounds? And in your school schedule, how does it permit you? How, like we just want the kids to be inspired by this. So if you could uh, please speak over it. Yes, Mataji. So basically, I used to chant in the morning uh, on school hours. And I started doing 16 this summer. So I would just, uh, my mom would do chanting from 9 to 10 and I would try to join her and I would like try to do at least 10 to 8 and then um, uh, around like 6 or 7 I would finish the rest of the rounds. And I would also read Bhagavatam with after finishing my rounds, my 16 rounds. I think I got inspired because my mom used to do it. Um, you know, she also, just like me, she started from one round going from 16 rounds on a daily basis. Uh, I really wanted to do what she does, and I want to get more closer to Krishna. So I, I started doing 16 rounds too. Very well. Very nice. Very nice. All glories to your mom and to both of you. And like uh, Srila Prabhupada said that uh, the kids are going to follow what the parents are doing, right? So it is yes. really, really, really inspiring to hear from you. So very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you, Mataji. Vinay Mataji, is Supriya Mataji the same Mataji which is in the Leelam Dutta call? Yes, yes. Everybody is there. I just want to give my comment for Lakshmi. Uh, Lakshmi, it was so wonderful that, you know, uh, you follow your mom's path and you are doing 16 rounds. It's really very awesome. It's very encouraging. And as a summer, you took the opportunity of this. Have you chosen that option to Krishna and you are standing 16 rounds? And presentation was some that like as your mom does for Sri Leela Amruta reading, how awesomely she does every week, every Friday, and she gets us to the memories of Srila Prabhupada. So the same way you have carried us today to, to you know, all the memories of Srila Prabhupada. I really, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really thank you for taking this topic and also enlightening us. Thank you so much, Lakshmi. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. You are, again, one of the first people that, you know, you really inspired me to, again, you know, get more, um, uh, like, into the Krishna consciousness world and, like, like you know, start reading the Srimad Bhagavatam and taking chanting more seriously. So, thank you again. Thank you, Hare Krishna Lakshmi, is there anything else you would like to share with us? Uh, no thank you, no. No, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Or... Oh. Uh, does anyone have any more questions? Okay, if no one has questions, we can move on to the Go and the group presentation, if that's fine. Are there any go the group members present here? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, it was actually down with the group. Are, are there any down with the group kids present here? Okay. 
Okay, Krishna, is there anybody from Damodar or Vrinda can recite her sloka? I couldn't see anybody. Can Vrinda go ahead? Yeah, yes, Mataji. Okay, okay. Good job. A B C line Brenda. A association of Book B bookshop. Devotion to the Lord. E into F G fun glorify the Lord. H one helping I fed Jenny to holy places. K for Yes, for simply, simply see T in the water pen. T for trusting. Uh, U for understanding. Who we are. V for victory over sense. Y for U V. Okay, W. W for looking. Uh, X for X. Excellent services. Y for Yan. Uh, Z for Zippy. Okay, Madhva Group Sloka. Yeah, one for us. Good job. Thank you, Linda. Any We can't hear you, Brinda. I think, Mataji, we have only seen this for the group. I do see this Balram Subhadra joining in. Uh, is Balram Subhadra joined, Mataji? Are they there on the call? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, to the Govinda group, Mataji. Can we go to the Govinda group? Is there any other Govinda group? Ashitosh is there. Are there any of the Govinda group kids? Okay, so then Ashitosh will uh, say the 4.1 and 4.2, Mataji. Uh, the Govinda group is still on the kitchen, so he'll do, uh, do the Madhava group uh, verse. Hey, Hare Krishna, Mahatma. Hare Krishna. Hmm. My name is Ashitosh. I'm from the Govinda group. Hmm. And I'm saying 4.1 and 4.2. Hey, Mom, we lost the day of Ram, Brukta, Vana, Hamasya, Yam. We lost one, Mana Vibraha, Mana Ikshvak, Bravit, And I'm going to be saying the translation too. The person that 
The personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, said, I instructed this imperishable science of yoga to the sun god, Vivasman, and Vivasman instructed it to Manu, the father of mankind. And Manu, in turn, instructed it to Ikshvaki. 4.2? 4.2. Evam param para prap Imam Rajva Sayoga the Hill, Sakalane, Yamahata, Yoga Nasa, Parantapa. The supreme science was thus received through the chain of disciplic succession, and the saintly king understood it in that way. But in course of time, the succession was broke, broken, and therefore the science as it is. Appears to be lost. Um, and I'm going to be saying Dehinosman too. Dehinosman yata dehe kaumaram yohanam jara yata dehantara prapti dira satra namu yati. Do you know the translation? Hare Krishna, I'm done. Hare Krishna, I'm done. Are there any more Govinda groups? Okay. So can we move to the uh, the uh, Madhava group, Mataji? So from Madhava group we have Krishna. Uh, okay. Um, Hare Krishna, everyone. I'll, I'll be saying text 1 from chapter 4 and text 2. Shri Bhagavan Avacha, Imam Vivashyate Yogam, Protavan Ahamavyayam, Vivashwan Manohe Praha, Manu Ikshvakave Pravit. The personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna, said, I instructed this imperishable science of yoga to the sun god, Vivashwan. And Vivashwan instructed it to Manu, the father of mankind. And Manu, in turn, instructed it to Ikshvaku. Teksu. Evam param para praptam imam raja shayo vidu sakal neha mahata yoga nashta parantapa. This supreme science was thus received through the chain of disciplic succession. And the saintly kings understood it in that way. But in course of time, the succession was broken, and therefore the science, as it appears, to be lost. Hare Krishna Mataji. Do we have Shreyash on the call? I had seen Shreyash on the call. <coughs> we do not see Shreyash. Are there any more Madhava groups on the, or Madhava kids on the call? Mataji Vrinda wants to say one sloka from that. Yes, Mataji. Yes. Please. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Vrinda. It's so nice to see you sing from the Madhava group as well. I think it's sure everyone is that. Mataji, is it done? Everyone is done now? Madhava group, Govinda group, and Damodar group. If, if everyone's done with their uh, with their presentation, we'll end. Okay. No, we'll end the call now. And thank you, Lakshmi, for presenting uh, today on the call. And be sure to share your presentation on the on the WhatsApp group. Gayatri, are you there still on the call? Hi, Krishna. Yes, Mataji. Okay, Gayatri, so um, we have the kids' uh, uh, classes throughout the week. 
uh, from Monday to Thursday we have the Damodar group which is the 3 years old till 6 year old and uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays we have the Madhava group which is for the elder kids above 11 and from Tuesday to Thursday we have the Govinda group which is for 7 to 10 years old. So uh, how old are you guys? Ray? I'm 9. Okay, so then you can join the Govinda group and the Govinda group will start from August but in the meantime if you want to join any of the groups you can join with the same call, uh, calling number which you joined the call right now and okay, uh, okay. you can join the Madhava group or the Govi or the Damodar group as of now and when the Govinda group starts you can join that call. Okay, I, thank you. I hope, yeah, I hope to see you in the call next time. Uh, Krishna, can you take the call? Uh, Hare Krishna, when, if everyone's done with their uh, presentations, we'll, we'll end the call now. But this is Devhuti and I'm calling from Cincinnati and this is my first time actually join in this group. So I, did, I didn't want to disturb you like how you guys do it. So now the class is on. So can you explain me? I have two kids. My daughter, she's seven, and my son, he's ten. So how have you, like, what should I do, like, and how do I be in the group? Can you please? Vinay Mataji, you want to go ahead and explain? Yeah, you can also do, Mataji. That's other that's fine. Okay. Hare Krishna Devuti Mataji, very nice to have you on the Hare phone. And, Hare uh, Krishna. Mataji, so you have a 7 year old and a 10 year old, right? Yes, Mataji. Yeah, so Mataji, both of them can join the Govinda group. And uh, okay. I will just take down. So I'll just take down your number so that we can add. Are you there in the WhatsApp group, Mataji? Yes. Yes, Mataji. Yes, I was. Yes, I'm in there in the. In the Govinda group, right? Oh, WhatsApp Govinda group? Yeah, 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 Mataji. So then if you are yes. on the group, the Govinda group is having a vacation. So we are going to start okay. in August. Once the, before okay. the start, so August will start. And in the meantime, if okay. you want to still join the calls, you can, uh, and the kids want to see how it goes, you can join the, they can join the Madhava group also, if they just want to see it. Um, the Madhava yes. group is on Monday and Wednesday. On Monday they have the Bhagavad Gita class and on Wednesday they have uh, the uh, one of the Vaishnava bhajans which is taught by Utkrish to Prabhu. So okay. They, they can for the time being if you want they can join there or the uh, Damodar group uh, has from Monday to Thursday at uh, the uh, timing. Do you see the uh, announcements? You can see yes. the announcements, right? Yeah. So if you feel like yeah, you can, also. Yeah, you can join for the time being and see how it goes. So that the kids also get the feel of the call. And for the government, okay. we start from August. Okay, perfect. So like uh, the same number that, that I, I dial right now, that yes. number I dial? Yes, ma'am. Right? Same number. You're okay, so it's everything, everything is on the conference call, right? Yeah. Now, could you see this slide, okay. Mataji? I'm sorry, what? When Lakshmi what did you see? presentation, could you see these slides? No, was it on? Uh, no, I couldn't see nothing. It yeah. was. Was it on? Uh, yeah. So phone. Mataji, yeah, because if you join from the, if you can download the FCC call, then uh, if, then if you log in through that, then you can see the presentation also. So the kids. When oh they, really? Yeah. So now, like, uh, that is the missing part, and that is the very important and most astonishing part of the call, that uh, the couples oh. are there, and the kids feel more connected to it. So when the call is there and when Priti Vilasini Mataji or anyone who is taking the call, they make very beautiful presentations. And then the kids can oh. have the presentation and the call is going on. So they, it's a very live uh, call and then the kids also get more uh, connected to the speaker oh. and the call. And they learn more in that process instead of just being on a oh. call. Yeah. Okay, so what? which, which application should I download, Mataji? Can you repeat uh, one more time? Yeah, Mataji, FCC, uh, it's a free FCC call from the app. If you go to the app and then you uh -huh. 
and then you download the uh, free conference call FCC app, uh, and then you can have the calling details like the dial-in number and the access code or the online meeting ID. Okay. And then you okay. see also whatever is being hosted over there, posted there. Oh. Okay, Mata Ji. Okay, so like In they can WhatsApp and both then work same time. Sorry. Like. Like WhatsApp, like uh, I can see through the WhatsApp, right? Uh, not WhatsApp, Mataji. You will be joining just like now. You joined the call. Okay. You joined the call, right? So like when you join the call, then uh, okay. on the phone also you can see the presentations there. Okay, perfect. And I had one more question, Mataji. If I have uh, some question, like uh, when I download, who should I talk? Like, can I you call can someone or can I text? You can post in the group, Mataji. Anyone will answer you over there. Okay. If you want to personally also okay. message, no worry. Okay. So who should I talk if I want to do personally? Like which Mataji? Vinaya Mataji, Anjana Gopika Mataji, Sita Priti, myself. Anyone, Mataji? Okay. Okay, okay, Mataji. Thank and you so you, much for. Yeah. Are you able to join the? Uh, because in the morning for adults, uh, for everyone rather, we have Shrimad Bhagavatam classes by every day by different speakers, and midday um, that. Ten o'clock. We have Chaitan Charita Amrita class. Okay. So if you so are same interested. number conference. Number? Yes, Mataji. Same number. Only the timings are different. So the call number is going to be the same. Oh, okay. So can you what what are the timings, Mataji, for that? Uh, uh, now according to your time zone, I'm not sure, but according to the Dallas, that the central time it starts at six twenty in the morning, uh -huh. and uh, according to the CST time at ten o'clock mid morning. We have the Chaitanya Charita Amrita till Friday, and then on okay. uh, sorry till Thursday and Friday we have the Prabhupad Lila Amrita reading. Okay, so every day this time, right? But this is the central time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the central time. I guess you are also on the central time. Um, we are on Eastern time. Okay. So okay. it's so okay. I can find out like then. Sure, Mataji. What well, I'll do, what I'll do is I'll send you more details also, Mataji. Uh, can you please? Yes, Mataji. Yes. If you're on the Govinda call, I'll do send you all the details and. Uh, we'll okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Mataji. And um, what is your name, Mataji? This is Sita Priti Devi Das from Dallas. Oh, okay, Mataji. Okay. Thank you so much for being so helpful, Mataji. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare. So thank you everyone for the joining the call. So we'll end the call now. Hare Krishna.